Hey, good evening, everybody. My name is Steve Bodner, a forecaster here at the National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington. And this is a uh, just a quick uh, update on our winds that are coming in over the next 40, 48 hours. Uh, today is Saturday, November 13th, 2021. And so what we're looking at is two pulses of wind. Uh, one will be coming through on Sunday and another second one on Monday with a cold front passage. And for the Monday wind event, uh, that is the one that right now looks to bring the greatest risk for impacts. And those impacts being uh, potential for some down trees and power outages. Anyone uh, traveling in high profile vehicles should also be on alert over the next few days, uh, especially if traveling across the Columbia Basin. And as always, uh, there is some uncertainty in the strength of those winds for Monday, and we'll take a closer 45. Okay, so a quick overview of the next 48 hours. Um, as you can see, we're looking at Sunday kind of being more of a, a yellow or what we consider minor impacts, so uh, weather events that we see more frequently across the region. And with that, we'll be looking at sustained winds in some areas of 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 45 miles an hour. So we could see some isolated tree damage and power outages. We should see a break in those winds as far as any kind of impactful winds Sunday night into Monday morning. And then we'll be looking for that stronger pulse coming through with the cold front passage Monday afternoon into Monday evening. Um, those when we could see those winds really starting to ramp up sustained speeds in that 20 to 35 miles an hour and with gusts around 50 miles an hour or locally stronger these should be a fairly kind of short duration um, wind event as far as those strongest speeds uh, maybe on the order of about one to two hours maybe three tops and then as that front moves to our southeast, uh, it will remain breezy Monday night and Tuesday, but we'll be seeing those speeds coming down to the point where we should not have much in the way of impacts. Uh, area, the area here in Monday afternoon uh, where we did color it as a moderate impact. So those are events that do occur a few times a year and do have that potential threat for lives or property, uh, especially when we're talking about that threat for down trees. So taking a close, closer look at where the strongest wind speeds will be for Sunday and timing. Again, starting in the morning, going through the afternoon and early evening, uh, we'll be looking for the strongest winds to set up out of the southwest across the Columbia Basin and then spilling into the southern portions of our northern mountains. And so this would be our area from about Spokane to the Waterville Plateau down towards Ritzville where we could see those isolated gusts <coughs> up at about 45 miles an hour. Um, if you have any plans of going up into the higher country of North Idaho or in the Cascades, you can see by the darker shading here, uh, we could see some wind gusts even stronger than 45 up there on those ridge tops. So the areas that would be most prone to some of those minor impacts of isolated tree damage or power outages today or Sunday afternoon or shaded here in yellow and so for our northern counties this mainly uh, includes the southern portions of the county so south of Republic south of Colville um, down here mainly south of Highway 20 and then across much of the Palouse and Columbia Basin as we go into Monday uh, we're gonna see those winds start to pick up from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. and so when we say 3 p.m. that's kind of looking up here in the northwest corner and then we'll see those winds uh, continue to increase along that cold front as that front moves from northwest to southeast uh, but this is going to be our day that we really want to keep an eye on uh, we'll be seeing those again sustained winds out of the southwest right along that front and then shifting to the west right behind it. Those speeds could be on the order of that 20 to 30, 35 miles an hour sustained and a feature gust with speeds of about 45 to 60 miles an hour. And so with that, we could see um, potential for moderate impacts um, here across North Idaho, Northeast Washington, 
and down towards Pullman and over westward towards Ridgeville and Wilbur. Uh, these are the areas shaded in orange which will have that threat for some of those strongest wind speeds. Um, we also have areas uh, outlined here as minor because there is potential we could see some gusts um, briefly up and around 45 miles an hour um, as that front comes through. As you get up towards Omak and Republic, uh, we'll see some, some breezy winds, but right now we're not seeing a whole lot of threat for those strong winds like we're talking about here uh, towards Spokane. So taking a, a looking at an overview of what kind of different wind speed thresholds and impacts we typically see. So when we're looking at the minor impacts, we're looking at that 40 to 50 mile power range that's where we could have isolated to scattered power outages and, and some tree limbs down. Uh, as we get into the stronger winds, 50 to 60, that's where the impacts become a little bit moderate. We see a little bit more scattered to numerous power outages, a little bit more tree damage. And then as we get into 60 mile power winds and stronger, that's when we see a lot more impacts. Um, and that's very reminiscent of like the November 2015 um, wind event. And so speaking of such, uh, we do not think this will be as strong as or even the same duration as the November 2015 wind event <coughs> or the January 13th, 2021 windstorm that we uh, may have fresh in our minds. Uh, those did result in widespread tree damage and power outages in some areas of uh, the inland northwest. Right now, looking back at some of the analog years, uh, this storm does have some um, similarities to uh, the November 18th, 19th storm of 2003. I know that's getting back there quite a way, while. So uh, looking back at what happened in that storm, we did see scattered tree damage across eastern Washington and into north Idaho with uh, some areas reporting gusts of 55 miles per hour and we did see some locally stronger gusts as well so again one thing to keep in mind uh, i did not look back at 2003 though is that it has been raining a lot around here for the last couple of weeks and perhaps some of the saturated soils it may not take near strong winds to result in similar type of tree damage so how can you prepare for the next few days well um, you know, the first thing is make sure you have your loose objects secured, like your trampolines in your property. Um, be prepared for power outages. You know, if this storm doesn't get you, we have a long winter to go. Uh, make sure you've got gas for those generators. You make sure your flashlights have fresh batteries. Are your phones, electronics charged, ready to go in case the power does go out? And those of you, such as myself, that do live on well water, um, you know, it might help to fill up a couple of containers. That way you have some water. Now, uh, how can you stay up to date? Weather.gov forward slash Spokane. You know, we're here 24 hours a day, continuing to monitor the updated forecast. So check back and uh, be safe. Thanks.